uh, speech interface bus stop. That's what we're going to be talking about. John, I think we'll be here today. Spoke, spoke to him yesterday, um, but uh, the buses are not predictable. I'm not quite sure how he's getting here, but um, I, I think he'll be here. But I'm going to I'm going to start anyway, and we'll come back to this. We'll probably this is only 42 seconds, so we'll probably play this clip a few times. Um, for new listeners, uh, I'm going to do the do the whole story so far which is to say, an, uh, not a neighbour exactly, but somebody I know in Hevetry, who is known as disgruntled of Hevetry, has um, a, a concern about the bus stop, the information at the bus stop. That's the South Florn Terrace bus stop near the health centre, if, for people who know, know Hevetry. Um, the, the new bus poster has quite a small section of information when the, when the, the times of the bus is, and it's quite high up. It's surrounded by white space, which is very annoying if that's the only poster you can see. I, I have discovered that other bus stops with more routes, um, the space is then used for up to four routes being displayed. So I can see that makes sense, um, but it's still annoying if you can't actually see the size of type and there's all this white space and they could either uh, use a much bigger type size and use the, the whole of the space, or they could stick to the standard design they've got and put it at the bottom where people could see it. So I've done a video about this, uh, which I put onto YouTube, and it's had uh, 700 views, which is quite, quite a lot, a lot more, but... 650 more than my, I would expect my videos on the best of times to get, I would say. Uh, so there is interest in this. Probably there's a lot of other bus stops with only one route uh, with the same same sort of issues. Um, now, last week, the week before, um, I, I spoke about this and also we're trying to do it through social media. And we didn't. We, we really didn't get very far. Um, Stagecoach Southwest tweeted back that the bus stops are actually the responsibility of local authorities. And then Exeter City Council pointed out that uh, transport policy is responsibility of Devon County Council. And Devon County Council's uh, tweet, I think, is fairly standardised. Um, lists emails addresses where you could start again so I, I don't I don't think social media is working as well as it might do uh, they don't seem to say our oh, social media uh, Twitter or possibly YouTube because we we then put it all onto or some of it onto the uh, wild show Facebook page so the we not know show is on Twitter w e n o t n o and the wild show is on uh, Facebook, just search groups for for Wild Show, and um, so then the the uh, Devon Live. I'm, I haven't seen it in the in the Echo, but it was was late for last week. Possibly it'll get a mention this week. I don't know quite how that works, um, but Devon Live picked it up, and they took more photographs of the bus stop, and also used the video. So and, and mentioned mentioned my name and YouTube, so you you could you you could find it through that, and you'll find the other ones that I've done done since. Um, but the statement made by Stagecoach to Devon Live was that they've uh, seen the need to update their methods. The software is intended to communicate with the bus using public, and. That's what they think they've done uh, with the new posters, and also that they they welcome feedback, but they haven't actually changed the design or said they're going to change the software. And I, I, I you know, just off the top of my head, I don't, you can put some. I did very basic, basic about twenty or thirty years ago. But if if number of routes less than two, uh, go to alternative design. Something like that it would need to be.
but really the the if just just from the you know without going into all of that if somebody's just standing at the bus stop wondering what the information is and they're looking at information quite small too high up for them to read it surrounded by blank space the fact that software programming is very difficult um it doesn't it doesn't occur to them necessarily the the other thing uh is that i've seen by the innovation center uh on the campus next to university campus there's a bus stop which is only for one route uh but that's that seems much better somehow they've got a timetable that's just the one timetable but it's at our level so how that came about i'm not sure it might be that uh, the organisation of the of the innovation centre is better than scattered people in Hevetry or other bus stops who never meet and aren't organised except through social media, perhaps. So we'll see. We'll see where this all all goes. I, I, I shall look in the Echo tomorrow and see if the Devon Live stories get repeated or updated or expanded upon. Uh, but meanwhile, coming back to what, what I'm going to play from YouTube, um, on the Wild Show last week, Chris Norton told us that there is actually a speech version. At the, at the new bus station, there's a green button by the stands uh, which talks to you. And this, this is pretty interesting and what, what we're going to explore I've spoken to, to, to John about it on the phone and, and uh, he's got things to say about it and I'm, I'm hoping he's going to turn up during today, today's show. He's knocking on the door at the moment. OK, um, I'm going to play a, a track and play this afterwards. <laughs> 